हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल केमिस्ट्री एस्पायरेंट नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एंड एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस फॉर योर बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल जनरली इट इज फॉर्म बाय द एडिशन ओवरलैप ऑफ एटोमिक ऑर्बिटल्स वाइल द एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल्स are formed by the subtraction overlap of atomic orbitals that i have shown here now let us consider the second difference the wave function of the bonding molecular orbital is given by the equation psi molecular orbital equals to psi a plus psi b while the anti bonding molecular orbital generally the wave function of the anti bonding molecular orbital is given by psi star equals to psi a minus psi b let us consider the third difference the energy of the bonding molecular orbital is lower than that of the atomic orbital from which it is formed while the energy of the anti bonding molecular orbital is higher than that of the atomic orbital from which it is formed let us consider the fourth difference the electron density is high in the region between the nucleus of the two bonded atom in the bonding molecular orbital while the electron density is low in the region between the nucleus of a two bonded atoms in anti bonding molecular orbitals now let us consider the fifth difference every electron in the bonding molecular orbital have the attractive force while the every electron in the anti bonding molecular orbital have the repulsive force let us consider the sixth difference generally the bonding molecular orbitals are represented by sigma pi or delta while the anti bonding molecular orbitals are represented by sigma star pi star and the delta star let us consider the last point of difference generally the bonding molecular orbital formation takes place when the lobes of the atomic orbitals have the same sign while the anti bonding molecular orbital formation takes place when the lobe of the atomic orbitals have the different sign that i have shown in the diagrammatic representation thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video